is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Let's open up and tour the all new 2022 Grand Design Momentum G-Class 21G. Good morning everybody, this is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter and it is my pleasure to show off to you all this really awesome travel trailer toy hauler by Grand Design. I absolutely love it. Very cool features and stuff on the inside. We're going to take and do the walk around. We're gonna get on the roof. We're gonna go inside with the unit closed up, see how practical it is. If you guys had to pull over on the side of the road to catch some Z's, cook a meal or use the restroom, how easy is it to open up or how easy is it to move and navigate around uh, when the unit is closed up? Then we're gonna open it all up, give you guys the final overlook and let you guys check out this sweet toy hauler. Enough of my chatter, let's go ahead and get into this. So starting out here with the front, they give you a nice setup with the power tongue jack. This is a very cool, you guys can be able to raise and lower this. It also has a convenience light, so if you're docking up at night, it's that much easier to see. Dual 20 pound propane tanks, which we fill upon your purchase, as well as provide you with a battery. You do have a little diamond guard rock plate on here to help as far as rock chipping. A full mold fiberglass front, front cap with RGB color changing LED lights on the top and on the bottom, which is pretty sweet. This RV currently just came in from Grand Design, so it does have a little bit of dust and stuff on there, but not to worry. We have a 65 foot state of the art RV wash touch and touchless combo, and I have a very skilled detail crew that's going to jump into this and get it all cleaned up and everything, but I just wanted to give you guys the first look of this unit because other than a PDI, which we do a final PDI, and then of course our detail, a lot of times these Grand Design products come lot ready. So hats off to Grand Design for doing an excellent job making sure that they have their extra PDI process before that unit leaves the factory. Very awesome. You're gonna have uh, manual jacks right here, but get yourself a three quarter inch socket and a drill. That'll raise and lower much faster than if you had to do that manually. You do have additional storage features here on the side of this. It is not pass through, but it is a deep pocket. So you guys can be able to stand up different stuff. You could probably take and modify this just a little bit, maybe put a shelf or something in there. You also have a uh, quick spray port right here, and then as, as well as your manual overrides to be able to raise and lower those jacks. Very cool, close this up. You do have a 19 foot full span Solera awning with the pitch adjustment and the LED light strip, which I'll open it all up and show you. Um, you have 110 power right here, as well as a cable TV output. So if you guys wanted to mount a TV out here, you guys could be able to do that. Um, standard setup on your entry steps. You, uh, you have Dexter axles. Uh, Grand Design has recently um, contracted with Goodyear offering their Goodyear Endurance USA made tires, which is a really sweet thing. Um, they're filled with nitrogen, you've got your aluminum rims, but it's also kind of comical is because they're still having the advertisement on the Lion's Head tires, which they have not been removing these decals. And so um, it is, grand, it is uh, Goodyear USA made tires, but it still shows the Lion's Head decal. So uh, Grand Design, you definitely need to be starting to take those off <laughs> if you guys are gonna be sticking with uh, uh, Goodyear. Um, Rockford Fosgate marine grade sound system guys this thing will thump you've got a nice sub on the inside really really cool once again I, this is the 21G it has a three-year limited structural warranty so awesome coming around here onto the back end of your garage which I'll get into the specs and everything on the inside you have a pre-wire for the Furion backup camera you have an eight foot carefree low profile scissor style awning with the built-in LED light strip as well LED lights on the top bottom and on the sides very cool it is a spring assist as far as your uh, ramp door which I'll get into that here in just a second very cool and then you have a side access ladder to gain access to your fully walkable roof and I've currently got it set up. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I've got one hand holding the camera and the other hand, I'm gonna try my hardest to uh, crawl up onto the top of this with one hand and show you guys the top portion of this because I'm dedicated to Grand Design and I'm dedicated to you guys, YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's do this. One, two, three. Hopefully I don't fall because I'm still gonna post it. It'll be a part of my bloopers reel segment. <laughs> So, um, WineGuard, omnidirectional Air 360 Wi-Fi uh, prep uh, um, antenna. So it makes it that much easier as far as uh, finding your channels. You do have dual setup on the uh, air ventilation fans with the built-in rain sensors. 
Got a little skylight in the front where the bathroom's at. You got your AC unit and then a 175 watt um, Jaboni um, solar panel with a nice 30 amp solar charge controller. Awesome, let's go ahead and come down here. Looking further at this unit, you'd have a great setup in here as well with the 30 gallon fuel tank. This is a 30 amp service. You got a 30,000 BTU furnace, six gallon hot water heater coming through right here. Open this up. You're gonna see this is your convenience center. Very nice. It's everything's all pr uh, easily located and properly labeled as far as winterizing, dry camping, tank fill. You got a battery disconnect right here. I love that you can have your sewer hose or your, uh, your water hose come up through here and plug it in. If you got freezing temperatures, you can take that heated hose and plug it into this extra 110 power that they include. So that's a really cool thing. Uh, cable TV and satellite input. Uh, and then you have your outside uh, spray port for that shower, which I showed the sprayer on the opposite side. Very cool. In here, you have generator prep. You guys wanted to do that, you could do that. And then of course this has one slide out, which is the bedroom slide. Very cool. Let's go ahead and jump in this, turn it all on, open it up, and let you guys see what she looks like. So of course I mentioned it all the time, but definitely should be following us on Facebook. Uh, we're always trying to uh, stay ahead of the times. Uh, to put out some really good videos, at least some nice introductory tours, give you guys a good feel of what these RVs look like. And who knows, you, not, you might find the RV of your dreams here at Great Escapes RV. <laughs> I'm corny. So we got it in here, hit ceiling light, boom, lights come on. Convenience center to check your battery, fresh water tank, black water tank, gray, gray two. Um, this is the Happy Jack bunk system. I'll get into this a little bit more here in a second. Of course, your rear lights, exterior, awning lights, we're gonna turn all that stuff on. And then right here, as you can see, is the bedroom slide, which has a queen size mattress, but it is folded um, up. And so in the process of you closing it, you gotta make sure that the mattress is folded up so you don't have any potential issues with it hitting the wall and damaging the Schwintec slide system. So what we're gonna go ahead and do right now, slide one in, slide one out. And we want it to come out, so I'm gonna press and hold. You're gonna hear it start up. Now with this Schwintec slide system, as it gets to its fullest extent, you'll hear the motor kind of do a whine, and it'll whine down. That pretty much lets you know, uh, once it gets to that point, that it's at its fullest extent. So once you hear that, that's when you'll let off of the button. And you might be able to hear it through the mic. You hear that? All right, now we're good to go. Very cool, very cool. Um, you've got your uh, power on it or power uh, ventilation fans up here, and it has a built in rain sensor. So, as long as you're hooked up to 12 volt power, you've got that thing open. If a storm comes through, it'll um, the water will get onto that little sensor and it will automatically close, preventing your RV um, from getting water into it. Um, as far as the bathroom, nice setup. You got a porcelain toilet. I like that a lot. Walk into here, they got an updated shower sprayer, which I haven't seen that before, which is pretty cool. I like that compared to the little standard one that you usually get. Um, nice little vanity setup on here, as well as a nice medicine cabinet, plenty of storage. You've got pocket doors throughout for added privacy. You've got another little ventilation fan up or a ventilation uh, hatch up here as well. Um, come right here, press that on turns on your lights. We'll come over here and then you guys are gonna take this queen size mattress and you'll just pull this bed down like so. Just like that. And there's your queen size mattress. Um, I like this as well. Grand Design sets you up with a nice large uh, mirror. Uh, and then you've got plenty of cabinet storage space below and then additional storage features um, in here as well. Nice deep pocket storage. You've got a rod in there to be able to hang more clothes. And then my personal favorite, hit that button. It's got a sweet backlight on there. Gives you a nice accent light. I love it. Um, you've got manual uh, lights right here, LED. And then you've got these nice little nooks and stuff, which I've recently noticed that those are added um, for additional storage features. So you've got that right there, and then that other one will turn on as well. Um, of course, emergency exits, carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguisher. Um, you have pleated privacy curtain or privacy shades. Nice. All right, let's get to the good stuff. All right, 
um, Norcold refrigerator and freezer combo. This is a pretty nice setup on here. It is a 12 volt fridge. I like that quite a bit. And then open that up. It's eight cubic foot. There's that Rockford Fosgate subwoofer. Man, this thing will thump. I'd play it on here just to let you guys see what it sounds like, but you gotta be in it to be able to really uh, take the true appreciation. Furion microwave. You've got the uh, overhead uh, ventilation system when you're frying up the bacon on this Furion three burner um, gas stovetop and oven combo. Very cool. You guys can be able to fold this up and out of the way. If you're not using it, it doubles up as additional countertop prep space, but don't heat this up with this tempered glass on here. It will shatter. Um, solid surface look countertops. You got a nice large um, sink insert, chef style faucet. I like that quite a bit. I like the little updated backsplash that they have on here. Plenty of cabinet storage, drawer space, solid steel ball bearing drawer glides. You have 2,500 pound rated um, shackles to tie down all your goodies and toys. They give you a nice setup in here with the removable um, table and chair setup. There's a nice reclining lounging chairs. They swivel 360. That thing is sweet. Uh, more overhead storage. Of course, additional speakers in here. You have AB selector as well on your Rockford Fos Fosgate sound system. So you guys can play that on the inside or on the outside. This is the command center as well for your uh, generator as well as the fuel level on here. Very awesome. And then they set you up with a TCL flat screen TV with the Roku TV. So Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, Prime, all that good stuff. You guys can be able to stream your shows if you guys have a Wi-Fi or hotspot connection. Um, there is the control center for your um, Rockford Fosgate sound system. You can scan this and download the app. And then there is a nice little USB charging as well. More cabinet storage. Very awesome. Okay, dimensions and specs. Let's get into this. So. Um, this is a 14 foot garage. This is 14 foot from the back wall all the way to right here. This is, this is good for the people really wanting the nitty gritty on the me measurements. So 14 foot from here to here. But then this section right here to this wall is 72 inches. Okay, so if you were to move this and go from this wall to here, 72 inches to be able to like maybe pull a buggy in. Um, from here, because then this cabinet sticks out, this is right at 98 inches. So 98 inches from that wall to this wall. And then, of course, that's 14 foot here. And then from this wall to the cabinet is right at 79 inches. So you guys with your toys and stuff trying to get your specs as far as will my motorcycle or will my buggy or my golf cart be able to fit into here, um, hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit further. Going into it a little bit deeper, this is the Happy Jack bunk system. This is an entirely modded, um, modular bunk system. You can raise this up to the very top, um, have this lock into place, um, raise this back down and be able to have seating for friends and family. It's got a three post um, table system for an outside uh, mounted table. Um, you have your posts and stuff right here. You have more privacy uh, curtains and then you have a ladder to gain access to the top portion of the bunk system. As far as raising and lowering, to simply lower the bunk portion, what you'll do at the very bottom right here, I'm not sure if you can see it. I need to pull this out of the way because you guys got to see this. So look really closely at this because sometimes people get the Happy Jack bunk system kind of mixed up. Um, so if you want to lock the bunk in the very top position, you need to come down here, take these little pins on all four sides of the unit and flip those in or to lock it up. Yeah, you flip this down to lock the bunk. If you want to bring the bunk down, then you'll bring it and flip it around on there just like that. So what we're going to go ahead and do, you know what? It's going to be a little bit long. This video will run a little bit over, but I want to go ahead and do it just to show you guys. I need a tripod. I've got a tripod. I didn't bring it with me. Bear with me if the camera's a little shaky. We're going to go ahead and raise this up to the top. So basically you can take these seats. Of course, this is an additional spot where you can sleep. And then there's an another pole on the bottom of it that you can lower down for additional support. But basically what we're gonna go ahead and do is flip these all over like so. All right, so I got that. So we take that and flip them down. Go to this one right here. Flip that one down. And go to this one. 
flip that one down. And flip that one down. And so then next what we're going to do is raise it to the very top. What will happen is this will lock into place. It'll leave the top bunk in place and then you can roll, um, you can bring down the, uh, the additional couches. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now once this gets to the, to the fullest uh, extent on the top, you'll hear it click and that lets you know that it's, it's locked into place and that you can lower the couch portion um, down. So we're already into this 15 minutes. If you guys haven't already, uh, you know, please click like. We really uh, appreciate your guys' support. Um, feel free to check out our website at www.rvstobuy.com. If there is a unit on our website that you are interested in seeing a video tour, a 360 tour, if there's anything we can do to help you guys with your final decision or just simply provide you guys with additional information for the RV industry, we are here to help. So this is gonna go all the way up. There it goes, locks into place. Now you can lower it down just like so and leave your, um, your bunk portion up, up, up against the ceiling. Um, as far as your specs goes, the weight on this RV is 6,400 pounds. You have a hitch weight of 920. This is, has a gross of 9,995, a length of 26 foot 11. A height of 12 foot 1, an axle rating of right at 5,200 pounds, a freshwater capacity of 100, a gray water of 74, and a black water of 39. Um, our value in your walls is 7, uh, your roof is a 40, and then of course the awning length is a 19. So simply roll this down just like so. And then, so now the roof. The bunk is actually uh, uh, secured up to the top portion of the roof, and we can take this up, roll it up out of the way, like so. Boom. And then now you have access to be able to entertain friends and family. You can stand straight up. It does have the Gen 3 Three Seasons patio doors. I love these because you can completely keep these closed. But if it's a nice, cool summer night and you guys uh, you know, don't have to run the AC, there is a screen that is included. Um, of course, if there is any way um, that you guys don't want this, there is actually a removable feature. So you guys can actually pull the pins on this and completely remove the door um, to accommodate for larger um, toys. Very awesome. And then let's go ahead and open up the awning and then I'll open up the back patio section and set it up for you. So we'll open this door, of course, right here. As you see, we're gonna go ahead and press awning one extension. You'll see that start to extend. This is the Solera awning. It's got the built-in LED light strip on the uh, coach side of the RV. As this RV gets to its fullest extent, you're gonna see a flap that falls down. That lets you know that that is at its fullest extent. If you were to hold this button, it would basically roll back up, but it would roll up reverse on itself, which is not recommended. So right there is where it is at, at its fullest extent. extent. Press to extend and retract like so and then right at that furthest point is where you want to stop. It does have a pitch adjustment right here where you simply pull down to adjust. You guys can pitch that awning to one side or the other depending on how you want the rain to fall off, but a critical thing, always pull down, never ever push up because it will lock in on itself and you can damage the awning. You will damage the awning. Coming over here, you're gonna see on the back portion of this beautiful toy hauler, Simply press these up, pull that down, peel this off to the side, do the same one here. I'm doing this all with one hand, so bear with me. Pull this down. It is a um, spring assisted, so it's not going to just fall down on you, but do be careful because it does have the railing system included. And so this can, this is kind of heavy. Bear with me just a second. All right. So, one-handed. Okay, so here's the back patio. It does include the rail system, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna do my best to set this up, show you guys what it looks like. Simply pull these, these pins out on the side. Pull this pin out. The other one is the swivel pin for it to actually stand up. 
And then what we're gonna do right here, is pull that out, pull that out. Pull that out. And then so next, what you guys can do is simply take this, lift it up, and then hold that into place. Take your pin, you're going to reinsert it into the top portion, which you can see right there. It's pretty light, it's really easy to set up, I'll be honest with you. It's actually one of the more easier ones to set up as far as a modular rail system that I've done before. There's one in particular it's from Keystone that was a little bit difficult with me and I, uh, I split my finger open on the slide track, but this one doesn't have any kind of sliding mechanisms. Simply take right here, you're going to pull off the Velcro strap and then this will open up like so, locks into place, the other one locks into place, We'll go ahead and do that. Let's pull this strap. And then, we can set this up. This goes like this, this goes like this, this goes like this, this goes like that. Remember, I'm doing this one-handed. I appreciate y'all's support. <laughs> and then it locks into place just like that. You've got plenty of room to move around. You guys could put a barbecue grill out here. You guys could do quite a bit. Entertain the friends and family. And then you have this low profile carefree awning. Of course, simply open this up. You guys can keep it closed. Enter up into here. Beautiful. Entertain the friends and family. And last but not least, let's go ahead and extend that eight foot carefree scissor style awning. So of course we're an educational company. We do the best that we can, especially with the industry the way it is right now. There's so many new pieces of technology coming out, all kinds of good stuff. And so what we do with all new and used purchases is we include an RV training class. Um, we also give you guys a nice setup with the, um, there you go, the fullest extension, right? So nice setup with a, an RV starter kit. You're gonna need the basics to head straight to the campground. So we set that up for you. And then of course we have a private campground. So when the day comes for you to pick up your RV, it's all fired up at the campground, give you guys a good uh, chance to get acclimated to it. If you have questions or any issues, you're still here. It's one of the many reasons why customers travel from all over the United States to shop with us. Ladies and gents, this is the Momentum G-Class 21G. Thank you all so much for your time and the opportunity to do business together. I ask that you please like, subscribe, comment, and share. We hope to see you soon. Happy camping.